Hi and welcome to this quick video. Uh, today we'll be looking at how to install Gulp JS, the um, sort of command line utility for front end developers. Uh, allows you to do things such as minifying and concatenating JavaScript, CSS, HTML, and also other cool things um, such as compressing and optimizing images. So, first of all, before we can use it, we need to get it installed. Now, the first thing uh, are the dependencies. We require Node.js and the Node Packet Manager, or NPM, um, to run and install Gulp. So, first of all, you need to check if you actually have Node.js installed. So, just run the node-v command. And there we go. So, it says the program node can be found. So, we don't have it installed. And of it, without Node, there's a highly unlikely chance that we have uh, we don't have npm installed, but I'm just going to show you that the npm-v command also works. So there it says the program npm is currently not installed. So first things first, I'm on a Ubuntu 14.04 uh, trusty tar 64-bit version. So I'm going to be um, running this command, and this will get me a stable version of uh, npm from the Debian packages. So I'll put this in the comments below so you can just copy and paste it. But basically what it's going to do is it's going to uh, install um, the packages required and, all, and that kind of thing and then it will allow us to just do a sudo apt-get uh, install node.js uh, straight from the command line. So let's let that do its thing. That shouldn't take too long depending on your internet connection and uh, obviously PC speed. I'm running this in a virtual machine, um, so the internet speed is not as fast as, as I'd like, so hopefully for you it should be slightly better. So it's just finishing off now, and there we go. So as you can see, it says it just runs apt get install node.js as root. So that's the sudo command to install node.js 0.10 and npm. So perfect, that's what we need. So I'm just going to paste that in there. sudo apt get install node.js. Uh, it's going to install an additional 20.1 meg. That's fine. I'm going to just put y to that. And we'll just see that install and obviously download all its requirements and repositories and that kind of thing. Um, uh, sh again, this shouldn't take too long. And there we go. So now that's installed and there doesn't seem to be any issues that we can see, let's now run the node-v command. And there we go. So we've got the version 0.10.40. And then let's run the npm-v command. And there we go. We've got one. 4.28. So now we have Node and NPM installed, we can install Gulp. So the command that we'll be using to run this is the npm install command. So we need to run sudo npm install and we're going to do um, dash g so it's available globally wherever you are on your system, any directory, that kind of thing. And it's just Gulp. So sudo npm install dash Gulp. And this will just is normally a slightly bit slower, so it could take maybe 10, 20 seconds um, to install this. But once this is uh, installed, we just need to run one more command, and we'll be able to use Gulp. So this was actually something I had noticed um, installing Gulp for the tutorial. If you if you now run the Gulp command, um, you get this error: local Gulp not found. Uh, try running npm install gulp. So we actually just did that. I'm not sure why this doesn't work globally, possibly a permissions error that I've missed. But to um, fix this, we can do sudo npm install gulp and then the save dev uh, flag, which is dash dash save dash dev, not Dave. We don't want to save Dave. Okay, and then again, that will just have to install, download, do its thing, whatever it's doing there. Uh, having a bit of a party by the looks of it, spinning around, and that's that. So if I run the gulp now, you'll see no gulp file found. So that's fine because we haven't actually set up the gulp file which is required. If I just create one, just to show you, and then run the gulp, so you'll see using gulp file, task default is not 
um, is not in your gulp file, please check that. So that's fine because we haven't actually done anything in the gulp file. But now you have a working gulp node and npm on your system get, getting ready to go. If you do have any installation issues, um, I'd recommend going over to the um, npm website where they've got a getting started guide with all sorts of fantastic uh, documentation and videos. I've been having a look at the fixing npm permissions error. Also the Node.js page on the downloads page uh, it has for Windows, Mac, source code and it has ARM, SunOS, Linux binaries, all of that 32-bit, 64-bit, all that business. So check it out if there's any issues um, I'll leave all these links in the description and thanks for watching. I'll leave that with you.